Hey you folks, up here in Little Salem, I gotta tell you, it's a Sunday, a week after Labor Day. This weather, in the 80s all week, it's been sunny. What rain? Makes you do, <laughs> makes you forget that we had all that rain back in, Ju in July just for a few minutes. This is what makes up for that week of rain and flood, at least up here. I'm not trying to make light of the flooding in Vermont. Not one bit, don't get me wrong. What I'm trying to say is this helps soften that muddy, cold, rotten weather we had in July. Just sharing. Hope you're all well. I'm going to give you a milfoil update very soon. We've done an anecdotal inspection around the lake. We have not found any viable Eurasian water milfoil around the entire perimeter of the lake. A couple of us have been out a few times. What we did find when we knew to look, where we knew to look, was the remnants of some of the milfoil that was causing all that mischief. Um, and it was dark brown. It was it was sickly. It was it was uh, the word is brittle, but it's it just mush. It, it really was not viable at all. And here we are, more than a couple of weeks later, around Salem, and very very encouraged by what we're looking at here. Um, very effective treatment that was done um, uh, with the Priscilla core. We have basically exceeded our initial expectations and um, we're going to have some additional testing done in the next week or two by solitude and then a full aquatic plant survey is going to be done by our friends at Arrowwood so we're going to have that data to share but right now on this gorgeous Sunday sorry Saturday afternoon uh, it's easy to forget what day it is when you've been up here for a while Gorgeous, gorgeous Saturday afternoon with a band playing, I'm guessing, at Charbo, if you can hear it. And, um, you know, again, we're, we're going to have a meeting uh, with the board next week to discuss what we're going to be doing over the next, you know, few months. If anything, we're going to still need funding. That's never going to be something that's going to go away. You know, as we said in our annual meeting, the ARPA money is not a guarantee. It certainly was a help and a big enabler. But the real enabler is you, it's me, it's the people around here who are the stewards of this beautiful gift that we have here at, the, at Salem. So the only other thing I can share with you before I sign off is I will be giving you an update very soon. As soon as I hear it, I'll share it with you. But we're going to have a little feature on WCAX TV featuring da -da 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 -da, our very own MacGyver. Ross Ogilvie and his water sampling system that he invented and you may have seen me do that video with him last year well I went and invited WCEX's very own Alyssa Borden to come up here and she did this past week and we're gonna do a little featurette as soon as they know when they're gonna air it they'll let me know when I know you'll know and then um, if you miss it I'm, I'll be sure to record it so we'll have it handy and um, Good things are happening. We're we're really doing our, our job here to take care of this lake, and it's the signs the signs of the uh, of the milfoil and and the, and the and the health of the lake, the clarity of the water, uh, the reports that we're getting are showing us that it's paying off. So everybody chipping in is 100% appreciated, 100% welcome, and 200% very necessary. Anyway, that's it. Quick break in the kayaking around Salem. Uh, didn't think I'd be up here today because the breeze was out and big Salem pretty stiff, but it was worth it because look what I'm paddling around in here, little Salem. So now before I get smashed under the bridge, I got to resume paddling and get back on course. Good to see some of you. Good to share this good news with you. And uh, we'll be back very soon before the leaves turn their full color. Ciao.